Every video that I do when I'm testing power output on the radio, the radio is always 100% charged. So do not ask a silly question in the comments, are the radios fully charged? Amateur radio and GM RS2. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Amateur Radio and GMRS, and we have this really <laughs> awesome radio. This is a Quan Shang UV K5 radio. Now, what is really impressive for the first time ever is that, as you can see, the, the lights are shining onto the radio, but you can actually see the screen. So this is the first radio that's made in China that actually makes a screen that is visible in sunlight. I have an enormous amount of light pumping into my face right now and as soon as I clicked on a key that thing lit up and I'm sure you can see it <laughs> and I'll zoom in so you can see it. So this radio has impressed me so far. This is a very, very clean audio sounding radio. It is handsome looking radio. It is not, it is not overly large. So we're going to be doing a power check as well. We're going to hit all the frequencies of the radio and we're also going to put it on the spectrum analyzer. So that is going to be amazing. So we're going to see how clean this radio is or isn't. And we're going to see how much power it puts out. Because it, it doesn't say in the manual. It doesn't say on the box on how, much, how, many, how many watts this radio is. I'm going to guess, since it's not saying it, five or less. So if you take the battery out, it actually shows it on the inside of the radio, which is really strange. It also shows the frequency range of this amateur radio. However, this battery is extremely small for what this is. This is 1600 milliamps. This needs to be bigger. So Quan Chang, if you're listening, increase this to 2500 and don't just slap a sticker on it and add washes to it to make us think that it's actually heavier just because and then slap 2500 on it and we're going to think it's 2500 if it does doesn't last longer it's not 2500 make sure you actually put a larger battery in this we need this to be bigger for this radio i think it's a beautiful radio it sounds great i already tested it out with a with a member or two it wasn't recording however i was able to record myself it's y810 Testing the uh, Quan Shang, Quan Shang radio once again. UV uh, K5 radio uh, was not recording before. Now it is. Now I'm just gonna check out the recording and see how good the quality is. We're gonna go over the function keys of this radio. We'll have a close-up shot of it, and we're gonna tell you and, and show you what it actually does. Okay, now we're going to be going over the function keys and all of its commands. So we're going to be doing a split screen on this, and we're going to be zooming in. And uh, the screen is actually set for automatic for the light. So if it receives something, it automatically turns the screen on, which is nice. So it's set for auto, and that's what you just experienced just now. So anyway... On the bottom right-hand side, you see the letter F with a little lock on it. The F is your function key that brings the radio into a different level of options. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a split screen, and I'm going to be using graphics to indicate what I am pressing. So we're going to hit function, and then on the top of the screen, you're going to notice a little F that appears. There is a timeout on this, and I want you to see how long it takes before it disappears. As you see, it just disappeared. So there's a time frame. So if we click F, band, nothing happens. We must be in VFO mode for that to work. So we're going to hit F, function, VFO. Now we're in VFO. If we've hit function again, 
and we hit band, it goes to the next band in the list. Function, band, function, band, function, band, function, band, function, band, function, band. So we just went in a complete circle. Now, when I say band, it's the number one key on the keypad. So now, let's go to function number two, which will be AB. This switches between the two VFOs. Function number two, AB. Function number two. Function number two, or the function AB. That's what we're looking for. So just so you know, this is not a dual radio. It can only listen to one VFO at a time, whichever, where, or rather, wherever the arrow is. So now, if we hit function number three, it brings us back to the channels that we have in the radio. So the, the function scan, or the asterisk, is scanning for the CTCSS tone on the frequency that you're currently on. If you hit function number four, which is FC, it scans for frequency and CTCSS, hence the reason why it says FC. If we hit, if we hit function five, this will bring you to the NOAA weather. If we go into function six, this will change the power, function, See how the L changed, I mean, see how it changed to an L? Medium, high. You can also program a side key, a software key, side, side key for that as well. Function 7 is Vox. Turns Vox on. Function R, or function 8, does um, talk around, does reverse. And then function 9 is call and is your home channel. So if you're if you're on a channel here and you want to get to the home the one really quick you just hit function call and it brings you right to the home. And that is it for all of the functions that this radio has. It does take a little time to get used to. I'm going to admit that um it's not something where you can just pop up, you know, grab the radio and start working with it. There is one downside to it. If you wanted to, there, it, it, it does have a USB Type-C on it, but it's located on the radio. It's not on the battery. So when you plug in the Type-C on the radio and you want it to monitor, it turns off the receive, which is such a bizarre thing. Not sure why, but the receive goes blank. There is a, micro, um, a external microphone port where you can plug in. And by the way, good news, your Baofeng K1 connector programming cable works with this and with Chirp. So I was successfully able to grab my code plug from my UV5R Mini, copy the, the whole thing, go into a new tab where I downloaded the blank code plug for this, pasted it, Rewrote it to the radio and it works perfect, a hundred percent perfect. So that's that's a major, major, major issue, is trying to find the correct programming cable for this radio, and the Baofeng <laughs> cable works flawlessly with this radio, so that's huge. Uh, what comes with the radio is just a belt clip, a lanyard, and a desktop charger which is huge because if you're going to use this with the type C to charge it you can't listen however if you use it with a desktop charger it doesn't go through that way it goes directly to the battery where you can listen and charge at the same time so without further ado let's get started with and see how much power this bad boy puts out and we're going to slam it on the spectrum analyzer the row the Rigol Spectrum Analyzer, the DSA A32E, sponsored by Rigol. So let's check out how much power this son of a gun can do. We are on 136 flat. I want you to see that beautiful screen. 
unbelievable. All right, so let's see what we do. Let's do the transmit. And what do we get? 3.47. What I suspected. So it, it's <laughs> it's under... what? Well, again, we're on VHF 136. So let's do one... Let's go right into the band. 144 flat. And I'll let you see it. We'll hit transmit. Why does it happen like that? As soon as I hit transmit, it unfocuses. 3.95. All right, so we're going up. We're just about 4 watts. So just so you know, we have a 20-watt dummy load here. I, I put a larger one on just in case this was larger. I do have a 10-watt dummy load, but we're using a 20 just in case. All right, so we're at 144, so let's do 146 flat. And look at that beautiful screen. Let's hit transmit. And, well, well hold on a second. 4.31. So we're going up. So we actually we actually broke the 4-watt barrier. <laughs> so the lower end of VHF is... So hopefully when we hit UHF, it'll be higher. So let's do, let's do the natural, the, the call, 146.520. Uh, all right, so 146.520. All right, so we're on 146.520. We transmit, and we're at 4.37. Okay, it is what it is. Let's uh, let's do 148.950. 148.950. We hit transmit. Really? 4.60. All right, we're getting up there. We're at four over four and a half watts. So let's go into VHF. Let's go four four six flat. National call frequency of that. Normally we do well. What we do four thirty three last time. Let's just continue with that. We'll do four thirty three. Four thirty three. We transmit four point nine three. Okay, we're getting there. We're at just about. 5 watts, so that's pretty good. So let's go for, let's do 446 flat, natural calling frequency, and we're at 4.77. Alright, so we didn't quite reach the 5 watt mark. Hence what a lot of companies do is, they do this, and they just advertise it 5 watts, and they don't go, well, it's really a 4 watt radio, or 4.5. It is what it is. So 448... Uh, 950, and we're at 448, 950, as you can see, we're hitting transmit, red, and we are at, come on, 4.68, so, just on the 5 watt radio, alright, so it's not 100% 5 watts, but, whatever, that's probably why it didn't advertise it, <laughs> because they're not sure, and you never know what kind of, you know, every radio that's manufactured is manufactured differently. So your radio that you get, your UVK5, could put out 5 watts or more on the same test. So now we're going to hook it up to the spectrum analyzer here and see what we get. Let's do that. Oh, and by the way, every video that I do and I'm testing power output on the radio... The radio is always 100% charged. So do not ask a silly question in the comments. Are the radios fully charged? So now we got the Spectrum Analyzer rocking and rolling here. And uh, we're going to transmit at 144.520. Just so you know, we're at 144.520. Let's hit that old little transmit. And we get, you can clearly see it's underpowered here. Because all the other radios that we've worked with, they're way above the 0 dB. So this is definitely not working up to potential. It's definitely a weaker radio. However, we are, each one of these boxes are 10 dB, so 10, 20, 30, 40. We're close. We're on the cusp of being illegal, legal. 
and uh, we have quite a few harmonics. So the radio is not super clean, but it's acceptable in this in this scenario. So I'm not gonna beat it. I'm not gonna beat it up to death because it actually works. It actually works fine. I was able to get great quality audio on the output. I was able to communicate properly with the other side. I was able to do a lot of things. This radio is acceptable, 100% acceptable, and it can do AM and FM. So you can actually listen to aircraft bands on this, and weather alerts, all the necessary things most radios can do. This is a very nice radio. I like it. That's, that is acceptable to me. I mean, it's not a high-power radio, but not every radio that you buy has to be a high-power radio. You know what I mean? You don't have to have... Not every radio has to be the top of the line of itself. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't be continuously buying radios. This has its place. It has its purpose. I happen to like it a lot. I like the screen a lot. I mean, it's orange. It would, would have been better if it was white. But, you know what? Who knows, maybe... Maybe there's a firmware upgrade on this bad boy where I, I actually could change the screen color. <clears throat> it's currently not available. I don't see any menu options to change the screen color. But for what it is, it works fantastic. And it can be seen in daylight and in the sun. And that is most, most important to us ham and GMRS operators. Just saying. <laughs> So let's go to, to the conclusion. So the conclusion, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a good it's a good radio. It's a, it's a very, very good radio. It's acceptable in terms of the harmonics. Again, it's inexpensive. It's very handsome. I love the way it looks. It looks really sharp. I love the orange button. I love that it's... <coughs> I love, I love that you have some sort of a protection on it so it doesn't get bunked. Um, it's, it's, it's really good. It's, it's really good for the money. And Quan Shang uh, deserves a look. And I will have a link. Ooh. And I will have a link in the description below to purchase this if you want it. Anyway, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time. From New York clear out to Cali's Golden Sands We're showing what the airwaves were made for with our hands No repeaters, just a shout and a will that won't fall That's the heart and soul of Project Long Haul